Here's some of the stories trending this week at NASA. On May 16th, NASA held a media event at Marshall Space Flight Center in Huntsville, Alabama to highlight the recent arrival of the barge Pegasus with the first core stage test article for NASA's Space Launch System rocket. NASA modified Pegasus to accommodate the massive SLS core stage, increasing the barge's length and weight carrying capacity. The core stage test article, manufactured at the agency's Michoud Assembly Facility in New Orleans, is the first of four core stage test articles scheduled to be delivered to Marshall for testing. This delivery marks a critical milestone toward Exploration Mission 1, the first flight of SLS and NASA's Orion spacecraft. It also brings the agency a step closer to sending humans to deep space destinations, including Mars. Also on May 16th, NASA's Acting Administrator Robert Lightfoot discussed the agency's goals and plans for the future during a conversation with journalist Allison Stewart at the Atlantic's Space Forum on the launch pad Return to Deep Space. The event, held at the museum in Washington, brought together policymakers, key players from NASA, and space industry experts to explore the technologies needed for successful human missions to deep space. Lightfoot highlighted the agency's plans for a flexible, reusable, and sustainable infrastructure to support exploration missions of increasing complexity that will eventually take humans to Mars. The U.S. Astronaut Hall of Fame inducted its two newest members on May 19. Ellen Ochoa, the director of NASA's Johnson Space Center in Houston, veteran of four space flights and the first Hispanic woman to go to space, and Mike Fohl, who has served on the Space Shuttle, the Russian space station Mir, and the International Space Station, were inducted to the hall during a ceremony at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex in Florida. NASA took students and educators on a virtual tour inside Johnson Space Center's Meteorite Curation Laboratory recently. The activity highlighted the special facilities and tools used to examine meteorites discovered in Antarctica and explained how these rocks help researchers understand more about our solar system. The tour was part of NASA's partnership with Texas Instruments to host the Search for STEM Knots, a virtual scavenger hunt designed to ignite students' interest in science, technology, engineering, and math. And that's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on social media and visit www.nasa.gov/twan.